In this video, something about magnetic and ferrite materials and their properties. I hope I will succeed to explain it somewhat in 10 minutes or so. Here, the basics from um, magnetism. You have here a battery. Here is an iron core. And when we send current via a coil uh, alongside that iron core, the iron gets magnetized. So we have a North Pole and a South Pole. And when we remove the battery, the whole uh, iron uh, rod stays magnetized. So with a uh, North Pole and the South Pole. That's important. But when we reverse the voltage and the current, the poles change. And that's also important because in uh, radio circuits we always have to do with changing magnetic fields on a certain frequency. And that means that there's no battery here, a DC battery, but an AC source that constantly changes the polarity. That is also an effect on the core. The core in a certain way must follow the, the current changes, positive, negative and reversed, um, uh, at every second. So, that's important for all radio coils and um, on low frequencies, for instance here, this is a, a supply transformer from 50 Hz, this is a choke coil on 50 Hz, but these are um, coils that, that are made for high frequencies. So every minute, um, every period, say it's 10 MHz or 5 MHz, the core has to follow in a certain way uh, the effects of the magnetic inductance. So that's an issue, but also a big problem. The core material is very important um, on low frequencies and also on higher frequencies. This is for instance a typical power transformer for 230 volts at 50 Hz and the core is a quite heavy core that's uh, developed for 50 Hz or 100 Hz and Inside that uh, core, it's not visible here, but there are all, all very tiny plates. It's laminated, that coil, sorry, that core. And there is isolated material inside. Here you see, for instance, a choke coil from a very old television set from the 1970s. And such a choke coil has typical properties. For instance, here you can see that there is an air gap in such a choke coil. You cannot see it here, but when you open it, take it completely apart, you will find a small piece of isolating material here um, uh, inside that coil. And it all has to do with the properties from such a coil. The core here must not be magnetized permanently. When such a coil is magnetized permanently, it loses its properties as a choke coil. That means that the field cannot be uh, reversed quickly on say 50 Hz or 100 Hz or whatever. I have to say that modern materials 
uh, for instance, such uh, ferrite materials here in this rod and here and here, they are specially made to operate on high frequencies where the core is uh, magnetized in one direction and in the other direction on a certain frequency and um, um, the properties from that ferrite material is ideal for that purpose. So they can operate on very high frequencies, say in this case for such a coil 30 kilohertz or 100 kilohertz or for for instance this uh, coil inside of this metal box 400 kilohertz or 500 kilohertz so the magnet magnetic properties from the core uh, are very important and uh, decisive for the use of such a coil in a certain application. For instance, this is a radio coil. This could be a choke coil or a coil in a um, DC or AC direct power supply. This is from an old TV set from the 1970s. And uh, a power supply coil. So, let's go here to the theory as far uh, as concerned. The, the polarity, uh, it could be that the polarity must be changed very, very quickly in a certain frequency band up to, say, 30 megahertz. And all depends on the, the core materials. For instance, here, this is a ferrite rod. Here we have a kind of iron particles baked inside the ceramic material. And that means that this ferrite rod can change the magnetization very quickly. So it can operate on, say, 1 megahertz or 10 megahertz. And let's pan over my drawing. And how quickly can a core material change its magnetic properties? So let's say 50 periods here. That's this magnetic core, it can change its magnetic value within 50 periods, 50 hertz, or 10 million periods. For instance, could be that this coil works on 10 megahertz. I don't know that exactly. I think it will be, be approximately 8 megahertz or so, but it's only an example. So there's a lot to tell about cores, core, material, core materials, saturation, etc, etc. And I hope this video will add some insight into ferrite and core, magnetic core materials. And I wish you luck.